Tomorrow my friend Christine is coming over with her two boys for a play date with my two boys and we're gonna make dinner. I wanted to come up with something that would be fun to make, involve the kids, and be nutritious. I thought of a pizza play date where the kids could decorate their own pizzas with fresh toppings. So I found a pizza dough recipe that I liked and made a shopping list. I try to do yoga three or four times a week. Try. Davis is three and I had him when I turned 40 and Skylar is almost two. So it makes it harder for me. Sometimes I think the hardest part of the day is just getting out of the house. My plan was to take the boys with me to the market, go to the park, and then while they nap, make the pizza dough. We live in Tribeca, and the closest organic market is Bell Bates. For organic bread flour. Oh yeah, that one's not bad. Bread flour will make your pizza dough crispy. I also needed some active dry yeast. Start the pizza. You need a half a cup of warm water. To one package of. Sprinkle the yeast over the water and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, in that five minutes, what I did is I got my flour together, my salt, my measuring spoons, measuring cup, and I'm going to do it in the Cuisinart. For combining dry ingredients with wet ingredients, the food processor is the best choice. The blade can knead the dough in just 30 seconds. Of course, you could just do it by hand, but that's a lot more work. Add a teaspoon and a half of salt, and pulse. Then it's time to mix in the liquid ingredients. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Add the water with the yeast, and an additional one and a quarter cup of room temperature water. Place the dough in a well-oiled bowl. Well, it's just to cover with plastic wrap, but I don't have plastic wrap, so I have aluminum foil. A tight seal will keep the dough moist. Okay, that looks good. That looks pretty good. I found that using my hands to shape the crust is better than a rolling pin. A rolling pin can press out the air from your risen dough and make your crust more tough. Prepare all your fresh toppings by chopping them up and putting them into little bowls. I put out mozzarella cheese, veggie sausage, tomato sauce, steamed broccoli, and some pineapple for the kids to use as their toppings. I put their pizzas on wax paper and gave them spoons and pastry brushes to decorate with. I, I put in a lot of sauce in there. Yeah, good. Like just dipping it in and just sticking it on there. Good yeah. job, Scott. You want to do another piece? No, Jimmy. Would you do it? No sausage? No. Did you put some cheese on, Scott? Oh, wow. Okay. So you don't have to put any sausage. That's fine. That's your choice because it's your pizza. Bake at 400 degrees for about 12 minutes. Get it. Okay. Yay! Okay, now don't touch anything. Stay. Keep away. It's hot, hot, hot. Oh, I think you're going to How's the pizza that you guys made? So yummy! 
part? What's the best part of your pizza? Broccoli. Your broccoli is your favorite part. The kids had a lot of fun making their pizza and eating it too.